Welcome back. You made it through unit one. Give yourself a thumbs up. Give yourself a pat on the back. Feels kind of nice. Now hopefully you kind of caught uh, how this class is set up. Uh, the idea is that you are a bit more self-directed. The idea here is that we exercise the brain because without exercise, the brain will begin to shrink. And we do not want that to happen. Our goal in this class is to create good thinkers, problem solvers. Those are the things we're looking for. Now, if you did not quite meet that criteria in Unit 1, it's time to listen up. I'm talking to you, okay? Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at Chapter 16. We're entering a new unit called the Progressive Era. In the Progressive Era, what we see is we see people that are trying to better society, particularly American society. Because as we know from the Industrial Revolution, some problems occurred. Chapter 16 is going to address what those problems were. Now let's talk about what progressive means. There's a group of people called the progressives. Were they progressive? Were they not progressive? That's what we're going to find out. Progressive essentially means somebody that wants to better society, somebody that wants to move forward in society and get uh, really make things better where we live. Okay, It comes in a whole multitude of different ideas. And what we're going to be talking about is we first talk about the problems, then we talk about, well, how do we solve those problems? Who are the people that help solve those problems? Because in our country, it takes a democratic populace in order to change things for the better. And that's what we're going to be taking a look at in this chapter. Okay, uh, Let's take a look at some of the issues that we know took place. And I'm going to show you some pictures. And these pictures are pretty disturbing, so be prepared. What problem is it that we're talking about here? What's going on in this particular photo? Yes, ladies and gentlemen, those are pigs. Do you like bacon? This is how food was produced at the turn of the century. Do we have a problem? Another picture. This is of a workplace. We see people working. It looks relatively harmless. But when you think about the triangle fire at the shirtwaist factory, this place could go up like a tinderbox. Is that a place you want to work? I think not. We've got another one here. This is somebody's house. This is the whole house. This is where they sleep. This is where they eat. This is something that relates to what we call slum life. We'll talk about living conditions and how we can fix that. We have the landscape, the environment. How are we treating the environment? Have we thought about the environment? Do we need to help the environment? Or is it okay to destroy the environment? A problem. We'll see how we can solve it. If you can see this, we're talking about natural resources. We keep taking and taking and taking. Is this a problem? How do we fix it? Oh, this is nice. Definitely not a scene from Holland, Michigan. This is what people did with their garbage at the turn of the century. Are we okay with this? Do you want your kids, your brothers, your sisters playing on piles of garbage? I think not. This gets us to some of the social tensions that took place. Here we have the city of Tulsa, Oklahoma burning after riots. Social tensions between African Americans in the city of Oklahoma, or Tulsa, Oklahoma. Social tensions are one of the most serious issues that need to try to be resolved. Can we do it? Ladies, there we are. Maybe you can't read it because it's backwards, but I think you have an idea of what they're fighting for. We want the vote. This gets at the heart of some of the progressives and some of the fights that took place particularly for women's rights. This poor guy, I mean, how old do you think he is? He's working in the mines. A little scary. That has an effect on the family. How does it affect the family? How can we fix it? 
Oh boy, here we go, eh? Mr. Moneybags, legislative halls, what's going on in this picture? Can we pay to have our own laws? I thought we were a democracy. This indicates that maybe during the 20th turn of the century, we were not. This is a nice house. This happens to be, I believe, one of the Vanderbilt's house. Well, do they have a huge family? Do they need this much room? What about the slums? This doesn't quite look like a slum. How do we fix this? Oh, here we go. Another political corruption. What's on this guy's mind? Hmm, what does that mean? Oh, I know, money. And of course, we have another political cartoon. This is saying the entire city is under one person's thumb. Are we okay with this or do we need to change it? This is what we're going to talk about in chapter 16. Have a nice day.